In the golden age of running shoes, in some cases the energy return can come from both the foam and the plate. In the case of the Heavy Ride 2, this is done through its very distinct pronounced forefoot rocker. By having an upward carved sole at the forefoot, the overall load is lessened. It is the lightest and the cheapest of all three models in the Rad collection. It's a daily trainer which is built for speed, unlike uh, its bigger brothers which are built for comfort. It has a weight of uh, 8.22 ounces, 233 grams in the US, 8.5 sides for the male version and 7.40 ounces, 210 grams in the US 8 size for the female version with a stack height of 25mm in the heel, 20mm in the forefoot in the male version and 26mm in the heel, 21mm in the forefoot for the female version. Designed with a film rocker midsole, it's designed to go faster, to handle several different paces and distances. It's supposed to be a jack of all trades shoe, doing everything well. It features the Hevo guide in the midsole, with a carpet geometry that gives it a smoother transition, which propels forward much smoother than the glide ride. As soon as you pick up the pace and go faster, then the shoe really propels you forward. The Evoride feature a 5mm drop where most of the ASICS flagship shoes are 10-12mm. It has definitely less gel than uh, the other shoes, but it has plenty of uh, blown rubber on the bottom, which ensure a good grip and which is segmented on the forefoot, so the shoe flexes easier and more naturally than version 1. The hopper is made of engineered mesh and it's a little on the warm side because of all the bedding around the collar and the, the tongue. The tongue is too generously padded. It doesn't really belong uh, on an up tempo daily trainer like the Heavy Ride 2. The collar of the heel is very well padded and uh, it did a really good job locking my heel in place. The shoe fits me through sides and the overall fit was perfect with just a little bit of room on the forefoot, which is wide. Durability wise, it looks worn as a normal shoe would, even though it's lighter. Evoride 2 is a greater shoe to keep with you when you don't know what kind of run you want to do or if you are looking for a faster ladder complement to your Nimbus or any heavier trainer. It's a shoe that bridges the gap between a slow daily trainer and a speedy tempo shoe. It has the feel of a carbon plate eraser but without the harshness of a carbon plate.
So guys, if you like the video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and consider to subscribe. But now let's have a closer look to the shoe. I run different trainings with the shoes, so slow run, uh, tempo run, and also a uh, fart leg. And um, I found it really good in all these trainings. Of course, it's uh, shoes that is made for running fast, so I prefer these shoes for um, the tempo run. It's perfect from my point of view, and also for the fart leg. But I think the best training for uh, this shoe is the tempo run. But you can even use it for a slow run. The tank is really too much. <laughs> really, it's not really the tank for this shoe. The hopper is definitely on the warm side. For the summer season, it's not really um, the best hopper I would uh, uh, suggest. Almost the entire forefoot is covered in rubber, so you should be able to get decent mileage out of the Evo Ride too. I like the fact that the forefoot is segmented, so the shoe flexes easier and uh, more naturally. I ran in the Evo Ride to right after it had rained and uh, it passed the traction test. The midsole is made from only flat foam. This uh, single density setup and uh, the carpet profile makes the Evo Ride transition very smoothly and consistently. Flat foam is the perfect foam for a shoe like the Evo Ride 2, uh, which is designed to go fast doesn't have much uh, sinking uh, with every foot strike which makes the, it very easy to pick up the pace there is an hard internal heel counter which makes uh, the heel uh, feel very solid uh, the collar of the heel is very well padded and uh, it did a really good job locking my heel in place but overall the shoes surprised me uh, i felt like to use the metal reserve but with um, more cushioning so it was a good feeling uh, even in the slow run if I use the metal razor in the slow run it's not that comfortable I would say so if uh, I have to do a training that um, like a fart like when you have uh, fast um, session and slow sessions in the same training then uh, to use the metal razor for long fart leg for instance is not that comfortable and therefore in this case probably I would use the uh, Everide too. Um, also for the tempo run uh, it's um, I think the energy return is really good therefore it's also good for the tempo run. I think ASIC is going uh, towards the right direction. So guys that's it for today I hope you enjoyed the video as usual thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next one. Ciao!